start again And my feet are sweating deep beneath the sheets My bed felt like a shoelace But I bit my fingernails right to the skin And I feel myself spinning It's so hard to rest when the walls keep screaming at me I find it hard to sleep There's a strobe in my mind every time I shut my eyes There's a light bulb in my mouth and a battery in my throat Waiting for it to burn out but there's a battery in my throat there are ashes on my tongue and burning in my lips There's burning in my lips, there's a burning in my lips
went out for a pack of cigarettes But it's 2am and your answer machine is boring me Blue and red lights repaint the kitchen walls And who is this who turns up at our door? It's not you, it's not you Why isn't it you? Hey Why isn't it you? So all of a sudden my head it fills up With the first day we met And the first day at school And that glitter in your eyes And that smile, oh that smile And that love the world Taking over our hearts And now I'm knelt down My face on the ground My tears overflow From the cracks in the floorboards beneath me
Things hung overhead, pressing down on the warm red pillows While she was sat on the edge of the white sheeted bed With her two bare feet on the cold tiled floor She was facing the wall with her back to his face And she heard his heavy breathing And they felt this awkward feeling that was settling in the room So in the deepest silence he walked out She heard him in the shower Peeling off the skin of whoever he was yesterday evening She knows he wasn't right, he didn't keep his cool But there's something dark inside him that keeps chewing on his flesh Let it out, leave him be, tell about it No he can't, it's nothing real, it's nothing right, it's everything It is nothing, it's all so vague, it's all so hard So black and all so bright, perfect day in the sunlight Rain cloud above his head, his tangled hair, the drugs he takes And his heart so full of the frustration, the setting's whole entire life Be the complete opposite, who he always wanted to be
is it that a human being can so participate in the peril and or pain of another that without thought, spontaneously, he sacrifices his own life to the other?
can't help but wonder what would have happened if we didn't turn up that evening. He had been returning to that same spot at that same time for so many years now. We all knew his intentions. He was finally ready to let himself go. I mean, I swore with my own eyes. I saw the earth begin to crumble beneath his shoes and how blind he was and how this meant nothing to him. He was empty. He had been squeezed and drained of his ghost that just hovered over him like a thick dark cloud. I pulled him back off the edge. And I took him aside. And I said, Get a hold of yourself! What do you think you're doing? Get a hold of yourself! Did you really think this through? Get a hold of yourself! Boy! Get a hold of yourself!